hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing this really fun really girly spring makeup look i'm getting really into all as you can tell from my top <laughs> all the spring things spring is one of my favorite times of the year because everything gets blooming again it gets a little bit warmer you can start playing with fun colors and so i got inspired to do a wearable spring look for you guys so i hope you enjoy it has a fun little pop of blue as your eyeliner and just a really pretty easy um neutral eye look on top and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed i will definitely be wearing this all spring and um hope you guys love it all right everyone so let's go ahead and jump into it so as you can already see um i do have like my brows a little bit of foundation and bronzer on just from running around this morning so i'm just gonna go ahead and do what i would normally do when doing you know my foundation routine um as if i mean kind of like avoiding the bronzer a little bit um but i don't have any powder on other than the bronzer so we're just gonna go ahead and kind of continue making my face the foundation that I use today is actually the NARS um, the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. I just picked this up a couple days ago and I've been really, 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 really been loving this. So yeah, so that's what I have on my face right now. And we'll just go ahead and continue with the face. So for concealer today, I'm going to use the Naked Urban Decay Skin <laughs> Foundation. Blah, blah. That was a long name. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this on my um, places that I want to highlight. So obviously when I put this on, you can see that this is going to be a ton lighter than my skin tone, but that's okay because we just want to lighten and brighten the under eye and also kind of give a little bit of a highlighted effect to the places that I want to like protrude. So I'm going to do it in those areas and just blend it out with a beauty blender. I did use this for my foundation as well. I really like the Urban Decay Concealer. I feel like it's not a super thick consistency. Um, I know everybody's raving about the Tarte Concealer right now, and I love it, I really do. But I do feel like it's a little bit thicker. It's super, super full coverage, and sometimes I don't want it to be, I don't wanna be that, or feel like I have that much makeup on my face, if I'm making sense. So this is a little bit of a lighter option. I feel like it's a little bit more watery consistency, so that makes it good that it's not as thick and cakey as the tart one is. And sometimes for spring, you kind of want something a little lighter since you're gonna be outside more and the winter is kind of clearing up. So just pouncing this into the skin. All right, so directly after that, I'm gonna go ahead and set those areas. So I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs Contour Powder, and you can see I have Hip Pan on the yellow shade. I am so obsessed with it. So I'm just gonna go in with that same Beauty Blender while it's still damp, and go um, in the powder, and then go right underneath my under eye area and wherever I put that concealer. So this is gonna really help that under eye area not to crease up. If you ever have problems with that with your concealer try this little trick out with a damp beauty blender and powder it kind of helps keep the moisture in your under eye area as well as like set that concealer so it's not going to crease up on you throughout the day all right so once you have that face nice and set in place um i do already have my brows done but i'm just going to go over them a little bit since i feel like just throughout the day they've kind of come off a little bit so I'm just gonna do that off camera. I do have a brow routine that I can link down below for y'all because it's basically this exact same thing that I'm doing and I did um, this morning. So I'll link that down below for y'all and I'll be right back. All right, so brows are done and glued on my face. And we're gonna go in with bronzer now. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the MAC Give Me Sun. This is like my favorite bronzer, just my go-to um, favorite bronzer for spring and summer. It's a really pretty color. I know this is a little too orange for everyone, but if you're around my skin tone or even a little bit darker, this is a beautiful color. I've even seen people with light skin tones use this. Um, you just have to be a little light-handed and then, you know, kind of layer um, if you wanted a little bit of a darker look. Um, the Hula Bronzer by Benefit is an awesome bronzer to use during the spring and summer, so maybe check that out if you haven't already. I'm sure you've heard about it. But I'm just going to go in with this bronzer and kind of bronze up my face. 
So I'm going in with the Morphe MB5 brush. I love this brush for bronzer. So I'm just gonna go in a couple taps and go right into my cheekbones. I do have a little bit of bronzer on already, but we're just gonna layer over that. So I'm just gonna go in circular motions all around my cheekbone area. Make a little kissy face. We're just gonna go all around this area, kinda up to my temple but making sure we don't go too down and bring it too low. We just wanna stay up, kinda of lifting those cheekbones. And then I'm also gonna take whatever I have left on the brush and just kinda of move it upward to my forehead. And if I'm looking this way, I have my mirror right here. So just kinda of blending that out. And then taking a little bit down my neck onto my jawline just to make sure it's all nice and blended. Do the same thing on the other side. So just a couple taps and bronze it up. And again, you don't have to be too precise since this is more of a bronzer instead of, you know, contouring, but, but you're still putting it in the same kind of areas. So just making sure it's nice and blended. This brush is kind of big, so it makes it real easy to just kind of slap it on there. Warm up my nose. All right, so now for blush, we're gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette, this collaboration that they did with all the highlighters and the blushes and that blush overlay in the middle. So for blush, I think I'm gonna do like a little mixture of these two. These are both super pretty and super, super pigmented blushes. So literally just taking one um, stamp in each of them and tapping off the excess. Making that little kissy face again and then just blushing up my cheeks. So when I do blush, I always, um, I know I've mentioned this before, but I always start toward the back of my cheekbone and then work forward to the apples. I think just in my personal opinion, that brings out people's cheekbones a lot more than just focusing it right here. So I try to kind of bring it all the way back um, up to my temple. These two blushes have a little bit of sparkle in them, so it's really, really pretty for spring, and that kind of peachy coral pink is always a popular option for this time of year. Okay, so before we move on to a highlight, this is the kind of spot where I've done this in a lot of my videos. Y'all see me do it. Just kind of take a step back and then look at what we have going on. Um, see if anything has come a little too far, gotten a little too messy or anything like that. So I'm gonna take the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Golden, and then just this little Real Techniques brush that's kind of dense, and I can get it into the areas that I want. So I'm just gonna take it, tap some powder, and kind of go around any areas, just basically cleaning up the face. So I like to go around here, just to make sure that's nice and clean and not too close to my mouth or anything and then rub it right under just to make sure I hadn't come too far down or anything like that. You can just see the difference between the two. And just do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of cleaning it up, blending the edges, making it not look so harsh, and too colorful. And do a little bit on the forehead, just kind of blending out the edges. And then around the nose as well. So this is a good trick, just if you feel like you've got too much product in one area or um, just wanna clean up the face, anything like that. This is always a good go-to and I usually do it, I mean, every single time I do my makeup, so. And now moving on to highlight. I'm just going to take my Morphe M501 brush, going back in with that Jaclyn palette. These are two highlighters down here. And I'm just going to mix the two together. This is Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. And putting that right on my cheekbones. This is a really pretty, beautiful mixture for the springtime. Getting that glow. 
little bit above my eyebrows as well. Down the bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose, and all my cupid bow. All right, so after that, the face is finally done and we can go ahead and move on to eyes. So the eyes are gonna be so simple today. Um, just a really neutral kind of springtime look with a pop of color. I'm gonna add a little bit of a fun pop of eyeliner today. But overall, the eyes are so easy and um, something that will look beautiful on everyone, be super universal, um, but super easy to do as well. So. With that being said, we're going to use one palette today, and this is the Becca um, Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Ombre Rouge Eye Palette. It has five different eyeshadows in it. Um, they're all super pretty. They're all pretty matte. And so this just makes it a good go-to, just springtime eyeshadow palette. So first things first, I'm just going to go ahead and we're just going to go in with a transition color first, of course. So I'm going to take this brown shade in the palette right here and put that all in my crease. And these eyeshadows are really, really beautiful. Um, so just running back and forth in my crease. This is the M441 brush. I've talked about this a lot. And we're gonna, again, just like I said, keep the eyes very basic, very neutral. The main star of the show was gonna be that eyeliner that we're gonna put on the bottom lash line. I have a little picture in my head, but. Gonna smoke it out. Get really deep in the crease. And do the same thing on the other eye. And I'm also kind of taking the access that I have on the my brush and blending it down into the lower lash line. You don't have to do this right now. You can save it to later, but just kind of minimizes another step um, that you can do right now. So just kind of blending whatever's left on my brush down onto my lower lash line and kind of blending it out, creating that little eyeshadow wing that I love so much. Okay, so once you have that in the crease, we're just gonna keep with that same eyeshadow palette and we're gonna do a lid color. So I'm gonna go in with this second shade in the palette right here. Just put that all over the lid and just use it with this Morphe M222 brush and we're just gonna tap that in there and put that on our lid. So this is just a pretty mauve pink, just kind of help um, awaken the eye. Blending it all together. We're gonna keep the top of the eyes pretty matte. Again, we want ma the main focus to be on that lower lash line. So we only have one more step to go, and then we'll finish the show. So only one more color that we're going to use on the top of our eyes today and that is just this white shade in the palette right here. So I'm just going to take that and we're just going to put that right on our brow bone and this will just kind of help pop the eye. So we're going to put it right here on the brow bone and then right in the inner corner of the eye just to kind of awaken it one more time. Beautiful. All right. So now for the fun part, we're gonna go in with a blue eyeliner and I'm super excited about this. I think it will be super, super pretty with any eye color, but especially people with light eyes, I think it would be beautiful. So I grabbed the Make It Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil. It's in the shade, I think it's in a number. So it's in the shade I24, it looks like this. And I'll show you what it looks like on the back of my hand. Super pretty color. So all we're gonna do is just line my lower lash line with that. So I'm just gonna grab my beauty blender. And so I'm gonna push and kind of pull my eye down. This will just help you kind of not ruin your makeup with a beauty blender. So I'm just gonna pull my eye down and then line my bottom waterline. that on the other eye so 
I'm also kind of taking this pencil and kind of smudging it on my lashes too. So it's not strictly just on my waterline, but will also stay kind of on the outer rim of my lashes as well. So yeah, super easy. It's a really pretty pop of color for the spring. It's very subtle, so it's like very wearable, which is what I like. It's not, you know, you're not having to wear like blue eyeliner, <laughs> you're not having to wear like blue eyeshadow or anything like that. So this just kind of helps pop the eye, give it a little bit of color but make it really wearable. So last but not least, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes. And I do have um, lash extensions on, so no mascara on the top for today, but I am gonna put it on the bottom just to kind of pull all the look together. So I'm just using a Mad Lash Black Mascara. This is a curved wand, so it makes it really easy to use for your lower lashes. And I'm just gonna go ahead and coat them. And that basically finishes off the eye look. I really like it. So let's go ahead and move on to lips. We're almost done. We're just gonna use three different lip products today. And I'll go ahead and share it with you. So for lip liner, we're just gonna use the 24 seven Urban Decay Glide On Liner. This is in the shade Naked 2. This is like my go-to bulletproof liner that I know will go with everything. And I love the way it looks. So I'm just gonna line my lips with that very much like your lip color, uh, your, excuse me, your lips but better kind of color. So just lining the lips with that. Once you get done, I'm actually moving on to an e.l.f. lipstick. I picked this up the other day. This is in the shade Neutral. And just filling in my lips with that. And then last but not least, to kind of finish off the look and pull it off together, I've never heard of this, but this has become like literally my new favorite lip gloss in the world. It's kind of like a lip plumper, but it's called Grande Lips. It's a hydrating lip plumper. It looks like this. I picked this up at Sephora the other day. This is in the shade, oh gosh. Oh no, I threw the box away and it doesn't show the shade. Um but it smells really good. It almost smells like a coffee kind of thing. I don't know. It smells so good. Maybe a close up. I'll try to find it on Sephora, so I'll link it um, down below the color because I don't have it right here. But it's so beautiful. So you just like crank the top, give it a couple pumps, and the lip gloss comes out on the end right here. And I'm just gonna put it all over my lips. This is like the most perfect color. I'm just gonna spray my face, and that basically completes this look. So yeah, guys, this basically completes this neutral spring look that I came up with you guys today. I hope you really enjoy it. I really loved it, and I will definitely be wearing this more um, throughout spring. Just with this little pop of color, it makes it really fun um, and a little bit different. So, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, everything will be listed down below for you guys if y'all want to check it out. But I'll be back next week. I'll see y'all very soon. Bye, guys.